Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make a pretty cool um, butterfly design or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, it's really easy. We're going to start off with the brush tool and we're going to draw a little squiggly line kind of like this and we're going to connect it at the end. Now we're going to grab the direct selection tool Grab this point and we're going to fix it to make them look like they're joined. You don't have to join them together. Then we're going to draw another one and we're going to make it into the shape of the butterfly wing that we want. So I'll do something like this. Kind of looks like a butterfly wing, but not really. I'm not that good of a drawer, so don't come at me. We're going to fix this as well. Then we're going to select both of our shapes. We're going to change the stroke and make it pretty light, like 0 0.5 or 0 0.25, and change the width profile as well. I'm going to go with something um, kind of like that. We're going to select both, go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. Um, let's try something like this, and then we can always go back and change it later. Then go to Object, Blend, Make. And there you go. This is sort of like your wind, as you can see where it's got like the folds. It's going to create this really nice effect. Now, if we want, you can do just double click, click again. We're going to move and make this really small. to get this cool effect. And make sure to rechange the stroke weight to whatever you had before, 0.25. Um, now you can hold down the Alt or Option key and create a copy of your wing. I'm gonna go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Make sure it's vertical, press OK. And then you're basically just going to align these two together to something like this. And you got your pretty butterfly wings. You can add a body for the butterfly or whatever you want. Um, you can also change, doesn't have to be in black. So if you double click, then click again, it will select this stroke over here. You can add a gradient to it. So you can make it whatever color you want. Let's go with orange to yellow. And then you have to make sure to change also this tiny one over here. So click, double click, then click again and select the gradient. If you wanna make it colored, but if not, you can just leave it in black and white, it looks cool. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I post every single day on here, on uh, YouTube Shorts, on Instagram, on Instagram Reels, and on TikTok. So if you wanna go check uh, me out on those platforms, feel free to do that. Um, if you wanna comment uh, a tutorial you'd like to see next, you can do that as well. Um, I read all you guys' comments, so feel free to do that. And thanks for much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.